Surprising industry stats, small talk. If you've got something out of the ordinary to share on a call, then get on to it with your small talk. Hi guys, my name's Deepak Shukla, founder at Pearl Lemon Sales. We're a sales training and development agency based in the UK as well as the USA and serving clients worldwide. And here today in day number 39 of 119 days of cold calling training, we're here to talk about surprising industry stats, small talk. So before we get into it, feel free to click the link below to get the additional 17 strategies that are not shared in this training. So fundamentally, this is something that's, oh, let's get back. A, a really cool uh, opening opener when it comes to calls. It's, it's just something to have in your back pocket, okay? So if you know something that's interesting about an industry, then bringing that up onto calls or having it tactically ready for calls that you're making into an industry is a really good way to show your knowledge of the industry as well as to bring up a, a talking point, okay? So to give you a good example of it when it comes to, for example, SEO, it would be something to the effect of, you know what, uh, <clears throat> they'd be like, Deepak, you know what, my, my, my industry, uh, so let, let's, let's imagine now I'm on a call and I've been thrown an objection. I'm trying to sell search engine optimization, which is ranking on Google, uh, getting you know to the top of Google for a keyword such as sales training company London, as an example, right? That'd be a keyword we're going after. We're probably going after it. <clears throat> so let's imagine now I'm trying to sell such a service. You know, I'll rank you highly on Google. So it'd be something to the effect of, uh, hey, Frank, so at Pearl Lemon, one of the things that we do outside of sales training is also help companies rank really highly on Google. So I was looking at your website and, I, and, and I'm just wondering, what would be the benefit of ranking for, you know, architectural firms or art, architectural companies, Lancashire? I see that you're based in Lancashire and it seems like it'd be a really relevant keyword. Uh, what, do you, what do you think, buddy? Um, so with something to that effect, the response, I'm, I get, I, an objection I might get could be, well, you know what, uh, you, you know what, Deepak, we don't, we, don't get, we don't get many searches. I mean, I've looked at the search terms for that and there's not really many search terms at the moment. To which I might say, well, you know what's actually quite interesting about that? It's a bit of a trend industry, um, Frank. I've looked into, you know, the, the, the area, there's a lot of development that's happening. So I do think we're going to see an influx. And to be honest with you, don't be concerned that you don't see the actual numbers reflect it because I think it's around 15 to 20, like 15 percent of all searches that are made on Google on an annual basis have never been made before. OK, never been made before. So we don't need to singularly rely upon what the search data tells us, because there's a much bigger data point that no data set can account for that 15 percent of the data that search for every year has never been searched for before, okay? There's new products, there's new services, there's new industries, there's new trends, there's, 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 there's new naming conventions. And for that reason, it's really just a case of determining that the housing prices in Lancashire, Lancashire increasing, there's loads of new development increasing. So that tells me there's gonna be a need for architecture firms over the next couple of years. <laughs> so do you see guys how I used a surprising industry stat and I build it into the pitch as well as just an interesting piece of small talk because you could use that, you know, in, in other contexts. It could be, you know, what's crazy about this stuff, Frank? Like, what, 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 while we're not only looking at, you know, this search term, which has got, you know, a thousand people searching a month, if you've got any other trends that you see, do you know that 15% of searches that are made every year on Google have never been made before? And, and, and that would elicit surprise from people. But that would elicit surprise from a lot of people because it's not a common industry statistic that people talk about. So where and when you can identify interesting industry stats that are relatable to your prospect. And again, it's just a case of, you know, doing a bit of a Google, getting a sticky, and then, and then you know, having them all, all put together. And it's just, it's just really simply a case of if we now exit this and go to, you know, go into here, what I do is, um, give me a second, search, uh, cold calling surprising facts as an example top interesting stats about cold calling so you could gather these facts or these facts and, and basically you could use that to you know offer interesting insights into cold calling um, so uh, an example could be uh, <clears throat> Did you, uh, Frank, did you know that 70% of buyers 
like in, you know, I need to understand what industry this is, but they accepted a call from new salespeople in the last 12 months, okay? How do you think all of those cold calls, ha all of those calls happened? It wasn't just like through LinkedIn and email, right? So, um, you know, it's, 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 you know, did you know that 80% of calls go to voicemail? So mastering the 18 to 30 second message is critically important to your sales success. And this is something that we work upon at Pearl Lemon Sales. So do you see where I'm going with this, guys? That once you can gather a bunch of surprising industry stats and you can just Google it per industry, you can really weave this into your narrative to build, uh, you, just, just, just to come across like an expert. So build a list of stats or even just have a Google page up and just decide which ones you wanna weave into calls and you can pick your top three and, and, and you can probably end up using one of them across, I think, I mean, I'd say 100%, but to be safe, you could use them probably in four or five phone calls, uh, four out of five phone calls. So 80% of your calls, you can make use of a surprising industry stat. So there you have it, guys. Surprising industry stat small talk is the way to go. Remember, we've got 17 one seven gated strategies just waiting for you. All you need to do is bing subscribe, as well as click the link in the description below to get access to those 17. Get some.